comparison to everybody else around the world, I think the Latvian child probably has the best past experiences of being able of putting the city life and the country life together. Because in my times, um, I was going to school in a city, enjoying the city life, smells, cars, um, troubles, uh, excitement, and then going to the countryside where it's absolutely freedom and you see how life just continues. There is a young sheep born, and at some point the young sheep gets also killed, and it is just so natural. And I think those two worlds has helped me to become what I am, because I do realize one life that I live on the stage and one life which is actually on the other side of the stage. It's just a certain smells that I miss, certain tastes that there is. Um, our rye bread, I think that nobody else makes it as good as we do. Um, cottage cheese, that is very typical here. Um, I think that's a lilacs that blossoms in May. The Christmas time in Latvia usually it gets cold and the sky is very low and it's humid and it's you know yucky outside but still there is the magic and you come inside the house and you put the fire and then you have your uh, tea you know with a little bit of Latvian balsams uh, you know just to warm yourself up. Those are the feelings that I just kind of like to remind myself though I'm very happy of traveling and being around the world sometimes I just want to have that taste again put back in me and then I can go on. And of course with the family it's very important that my children um, recognize and do know that part of their blood also comes from here.